Are you looking for a breakfast recipe for the holidays? Well, today we're going to put together for you a sausage and egg casserole with hash browns. Actually, it's going to be frozen hash browns and cheese. And so our products today are one pound of sausage. We've got a half a green bell pepper, a half of red bell pepper, and a half of a medium yellow onion chopped up already. We're going to add a little bit of SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. We got about a pound or so of uh, sharp cheddar cheese we're going to add to this, a little bit of milk, and I've got about eight eggs that I've already cracked and put in a bowl here. But what we're going to do, we're going to take and put this into a lodge, 9 by 13 casserole pan. Now I really like this casserole pan. This thing is awesome. Of course being 9 by 13 it's also about 2 and 3 eighths of an inch deep and you can be of course being cast iron it's heavy it weighs about 7 and a quarter pounds but yet being cast iron it will retain the heat and it's perfect for any kind of casserole, cornbread, you could make cakes in it, you could do whatever. But today, we're going to make a breakfast casserole for not only just the holidays, you can make these casseroles for any time of the year. But we, we're going to make this because we know the holidays are coming up. Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, you're going to have people home for the holidays. And what better way to make a big casserole for several people to be able to eat from. Now... What we're going to do first of all, we're going to get ready and take our sausage and place into a 12 inch cast iron skillet. All right, well, we got our sausage in the cast iron on medium to medium high heat. I've got my bell pepper, half a bell pepper, half a, half a green, half a red, and half of the yellow onion. Um, I'm going to place all this in here and let that saute down. And once this gets cooked real well, what we're going to do, we're going to remove this. Uh, to a paper towel lined plate that way we can drain any grease out. I don't want any grease in my casserole But we do want our uh, onions bell pepper and sausage Sauteed really well. All right Well, we've got our sausage our bell pepper and our onions cooked down together and got that drained We got it back in our 12 uh, inch skillet to keep it warm now over here we've got our casserole dish and what i did i took and buttered this down uh, of course we know eggs and butter go well together so but we've got this oil down so it won't stick or anything i've got my oven preheated at 400 degrees now what we're going to do in order to assemble this we're going to take our frozen hash browns now you could use fresh if you wanted to. All right, well, we're gonna get our hash brown, frozen hash browns. Now folks, I just wanna tell you a little tip. I had to uh, pause and fix this, but what you wanna do, if your hash browns are frozen, you wanna leave them frozen. And uh, be sure and just break up the big chunks before you try to place this in your casserole dish or you'll have great big chunks and it won't work good for you. So. Now the layering, what we're gonna do here, we've got our hash browns. Be sure and even all this out in your casserole pan. We're gonna take half of this cheese and we're just gonna kinda layer this in here. Be sure and get your cheese moved around pretty good. Now it's gonna melt down in there, so it's okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our uh, sausage and bell pepper mixture and I'm gonna add, just add a little bit of that to the top of here and we just wanna kinda Smooth this out all over your uh, cheese mixture and everything too. Kind of get it all the way around because you want meat in all parts or, uh, parts of your casserole. So once you get that smoothed out, the next thing you want to do is we had our eight eggs uh, that I've already mixed up real well. And what I did, I added about a quarter cup of milk in that, and then I put oh about a tablespoon of salt, pepper and uh, garlic and what you want to do you want to definitely make sure you get this all over your mixture that way the eggs will melt down into the whole mixture and you'll have eggs throughout the whole casserole so once you get all that in there the last step on this is take the other half of your uh, cheddar cheese and just layer that in there Smooth that all out like that right there. And then like I said, we've got our oven preheated at 400 degrees. Next step is we're gonna place this in the oven and bake it at 
45 minutes at 400 degrees. And once that's done, we'll bring it out and we'll show you exactly what this looks like. Well, I brought the casserole out of the oven and I just have to tell you, I had to cook this for an extra 15 minutes. And the reason why I had to do that is the cast iron was cold when we placed everything in here. And also you have frozen hash browns when you make this casserole. So just like any casserole, you need to always check and make sure and one way, it's just like baking a cake. You can take a toothpick and stick it in. If it comes out clean like that, you know everything's cooked and set up. Or you can actually even take a butter knife and do the same thing. And that's a little bit of cheese, but that's fine. But anyway, uh, you know, this is a uh, sausage and egg casserole with frozen hash browns. If you don't like sausage, you can always use ham, chopped ham, or if you don't like that and you, and you like bacon, you can use bacon. You can use any ingredients that you want. We just happen to have sausage and, uh, you know, the bell pepper and cheese and stuff like that. And that's what we wanted to make. So we're going to cut into this and see what it's like here. Look at that. So that's cooked through and through. That's got a good solid firm texture to it. It's not runny or anything. The eggs didn't stick to the cast iron. We put our butter in there so the eggs did not stick to the, to the cast iron. Look at the crust on that side that come from the uh, corner. I love corner pieces. But anyway, let me cut into this and see. Now another tip I want to give you on this. The reason why we only put one tablespoon or one tea, little over a teaspoon of salt, pepper, and onion, garlic, powder in this is your cheese has salt in it and so does your sausage so be sure when you're making this don't over salt it you can always add salt and pepper later if this being more than what you can eat you can always cut these in squares and freeze this and eat it later you can bring it out put it in a microwave, warm it up for 30 seconds to a minute or whatever, and then you've got a great breakfast to go. So we made this in a one pan casserole dish, cast iron casserole. You can make enough for the week if you want to pre-plan your food, your meal preps for breakfast or whatever. So that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. That way when you have it, you can freeze it, put it away, you get, you're ready to go. I'm gonna give this a taste and see. Look at that. Mm. So we're gonna enjoy our sausage and egg casserole with hash browns. We wanted to share this with you guys. We hope you have a great holiday. Happy Thanksgiving to you from Mr. and Mrs. Cast Iron.